welcome to vlog number 11. <sighs> Donuts over there being a goof. Okay, so let's see. Last we left off, I had a tiny clip of So Whatever Weekend. Um, I did not take a lot of videos. I got like sidetracked having fun. Uh, I didn't even take very many pictures, but it was a blast. So um, I'm just going to start with whenever there's the next one, sign up. Um, if you're intimidated by industrials, sign up, learn to use it. Um, people will help you. Or there were tickets where you could bring your own domestic and then you could just hang out. And so, so it was fun. Uh, we had pizza for dinner the first night at um, a restaurant right by the hotel. And then lunch the second day, um, they catered, well, they brought in barbecue. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry. Um, and then we were on our own for dinner that Saturday night and lunch on Sunday. Um, we had to leave around two on Sunday, so we had to leave a couple hours early because um, Tiffany and I had picked up Jenny Green from Sincerely Jen Patterns, and uh, she had to work on Monday, so we had to get her back. Uh, it was so much fun. Um, I love Jenny. <laughs> I can't wait to hang out with her again. Um, she only lives two hours away from me, so hopefully soon. Um, we also got to shop at headquarters. Uh, so I'll show you what I got. Um, I grabbed some more of this one inch webbing of stars. Um, and I got the rainbow watercolor roses. Um, I got some hardware. I... So everyone got a door prize, and I got zipper tape. I'm actually really excited because I always need it. Do I? I don't know. But um, I have some vinyl to share with you. Okay. So as usual, Lauren gave me some vinyl to try out, to promote, and then I actually bought some too. Uh, this is something she just got a sample of and she's not sure what she thinks. Um, so can we tell her we like it? <laughs> it's glittery. Uh, and like, I think it's fun. I don't know what you call this, uh, but I like it. Um, I haven't gotten to sew with it yet, so maybe it sucks. It doesn't, it feels like her luck's backing though, so I think it's really good. Uh, let's see. I got more concrete and I forget what the purple's called. Uh, what, during the May 15th drop, uh, because I think this gray is going to make the cutest cat purses because I already started one and I wanted to be able to make more. <laughs> Sorry, my nose. As soon as I start recording. This is Deep Space Blacks. It's a luxe glitter vinyl roll and it's coming out soon. And you cannot tell on here. Anyways, it's black with silver glitter. Oh, there it goes, maybe. But it also has a holographic color shift in it too. It's really pretty. Can't wait to use it. Um... This is Inky Watercolor Rose, and Lauren had a video cutting an apothecary out with this, and she said that it was commissioned for a Tennessee class for So Magical, and they're going to sell it there. Um, I don't know how available it will be otherwise. Um, this is Starlight Gold. It is a Lux Glitter vinyl. Uh, I'm not sure what day it comes out, but soon. And then this is amazing. So, bless you, Donut. See, we're all, we're all sneezy. Uh, okay, so this is a TPU. It's super soft and flexible. And it has a holographic, oh, there you can see it, glitter. I love it. Um, this releases June 1st, so before 
this goes up. I don't know if any more will be left. Um, but tell Lauren that we should get more. And it might happen. Okay. And then these are amazing. I don't know when they will happen. This is like the Chromatic Dragon, but it's a, a different backing. And then look at that. So good. Lauren made a uh, Guardian backpack where she like color blocked them all together. Super cool. Okay, so that's everything I got. Oh, I got a um, long sleeve rainbow tie-dye not today bobbin shirt but it is in the laundry because i have not done laundry <clears throat> okay and then i had a video clip uh there of what i made um but i'll show you them one by one so i wonder where the strap went to this oh here it is okay i had made this beforehand I had this like partially done but I finished it there okay it's really pretty so this is an 85% Erica Bowler and this is the pink pumps that looks bad but this is the pink pumps ace glitter vinyl and then um cream and pink roses and I love how I did this zipper. So good. Um, I still need to do the binding. I just didn't feel like it. Uh, Lauren and Fran tried to pretend they steal it. And I was like, well, if you steal it, you have to do the binding. Then they gave it back. George, what are you doing? Weirdo. Oh, he found catnip. Okay, and then I made a bunch of clear Devons um, because I said it on a live. The special thing about these is this is the class I'm going to teach on industrials in Florida for So Magical this year. And that is September 22nd to 23rd. I don't know what day class signups are yet, but I actually made two other ones. And I think they're in my video clip, but I sold them there. Uh, the Rainbow Donut Cats, so the Pride, my friend Josie bought. And then uh, Tammy bought a Sit Sprite one. This is so cute. It's so, like, simple. It's so cute. This one's fun, too. They're a little flat right now. They look a little silly. Just from being smushed in my suitcase. I did not feel good on Sunday before we left. I completely forgot to put my name thing on this. It's fine. I love this one. So this one and this one. These two prints, the clear ones with glitter, uh, they are July releases from Ormino. So, and then I think that is everything I got. I'm missing my phone charger. I think I took, I thought it was maybe in that bag. It is not. Um, I got to sew a decent amount of stuff. Uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely do it. Okay. So that's everything from that. Yeah. Sign up for the next one. I don't know what it's going to be, but sign up for it. I made things on Cat Toy Brittany. Lots of Devons. They're clear. They're fun. <gasps> How dare you, Lauren? Are they for cleaning machines? Yeah. And I was like, I don't have a machine. She's like, come 
sure you'll find something to do with them. Finish my Erica. I like it. Are they from Tina? So cute. It is about 4.20 a.m. The night morning before the last day of school. <sighs> Cutting it a little close on the teacher gifts this year. <sighs> so my son has three teachers. My daughter has one teacher and like an aide. And there's the principal and the bus driver. Last year I made peekaboos. I made midnight kisses this year, but I made something extra special for my daughter's teacher because I adore her so much. Not that I don't like the other teachers or anyone, but um, I've known her since I was in high school and um, she had my son and now she's my daughter and like, it's so sad. Like, my kids aren't going to have her again. So, anyways, our school colors are green and gold. So. And then I ran out of this fabric. But, thankfully, at my son's fourth grade graduation yesterday at this point, today, I don't know. I haven't gone to bed. Found out that it's one teacher like sunflowers. This is the closest I have, but it's it's got the color. And one really likes the Steelers. <laughs> She got a lot of boos and cheers because we're near Cleveland. But anyways, so his teachers and then principal, bus driver, and my daughter's um, teacher who, uh, like assistant teacher who I also adore and I've known her since high school because um, her son was in the same grade as me and my boyfriend. Um, and Thea told me I needed to make something for Mrs. Riffle. And then she goes, but don't make a video about it. <laughs> I was like, why? She said, because that's what you do all the time. All right, Thea. Um, let's see. So, by the time this video airs, I would have shared this anyways. Because this pattern releases on June 1st. It's the Callisto crossbody from Sonar. I'm so honored Nicole let me test for her. Um, I think I did everything per the instructions, but again, it's like the middle of the night, so just doing my best. Make another one. Um, I made my own piping. Who am I? I used uh, the Gold Hoops Ace Glitter from where we know, and I think I did a really good job with it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, I used legit cork that cost me a lot of money, um, for a pattern test, uh, in the middle of the night. It's worth it. Uh, but look how cool. It has a snap. So I used a spring snap there. And then, like, it's so unique. I, I really like, and I love Nicole's little, like, cork D-ring connectors. Um, in the pattern... It is a two, a half inch wide strap, but I only had three fourths inch hardware. But I like me a chunky crossbody strap, um, zipper overlay. I am not good at them. Uh, that's kind of the only place I actually struggled in the pattern. But this almost lined up perfectly. It's so cute. <laughs> I hope she loves it. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna like, I guess I gotta take pictures of these when the sun comes up. So I guess I'm gonna get up early, take pictures, and then pack them up. Uh, yeah, so again, it is 4.24 a.m. I gotta make invites for my son's birthday party to come to his friends tomorrow on the last day of school. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken a nap all day Monday. It's all good. All good. Maybe the rest of this vlog will be less chaotic. But hey, I got it done. Alright. So. I think in the last one I shared what I got in for strikes for Stitch Don't Come My Blood for this round. I made an apothecary tote in size large uh, with this print. I like it. So this is only the second apothecary I've made, which just seems ridiculous because I want to make so many of them. Uh, just 
haven't been able to. I really gotta work on my lighting over here. Okay, so uh, this is the textured vinyl from Citron Can My Vibe. Uh, textured vinyl is not my jam. I just don't prefer it. I like smooth, but still nice. This is uh, Pearl from, I think it's Pearl. It is a Pearl from More Me Know. All my hardware's from More Me Know. And then I think I got the orange zipper tape from Zipper Valley. Maybe? I don't know. I was looking for orange for Halloween last year. And this is the first time I've used it. And then I used my candy corn thread from Wizardry Century for the first time. I <laughs> didn't think it'd be on a non-Halloween bag, but uh, there are actually bats in this print, so it works. Uh, and then I made a moon dance notebook holder. I should edge coat it. I should. Um, I had a rough week. <laughs> But look how pretty. So this is the matcha glitter from Let Me Know. Uh, this is also a textured vinyl. But this is the Junior Lego pad size. It's the first time I've made this size. And I think it's my favorite. I think if I'm going to end up making these to sell like in batches, I'll do this size. Because the like full paper size ones, they take a lot of vinyl. And then the little ones, it's just, they're really tiny. Um, I also finished up this switch case with some, and I must say that this back zipper is the most perfect zipper of this kind that I've ever made. And I think it's because I didn't put the zipper pull on until the very end. But there's little slots for the game cartridges. Yeah, it's a perfect zipper, okay? So, that is not all I've made since I've been home because the teacher gets up like, man. Anyways, I got some mail too. Uh, Wizardry had a sale. I think because they had like 9,000 people in their group or something. I don't know. That could be completely off. <laughs> but there was a sale. I think it was the uh, This came in while I was gone. I just I didn't saving it to open it. Like I said, it's been a rough week. Uh, yes. Okay. So, I love this. <laughs> my order was pulled by dad. I like it. Okay, so I got Tex 80 Groovy sewing string. Um, so this is a neon rainbow. I'm really excited for it. Um, it's got pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, and orange. And they're neon. So... I love my unicorn mane. I love my fairy floss. So that's like regular rainbow. But still bright because it has pink in it, which is why I like it. And then uh, fairy floss is pastel rainbow. I love it. Okay, and then I love the bubblegum webbing. It's what's on my Guardian that I carry all the time. So I got one inch and one and a half inch, both in three yards. I got blush pink one inch and three yards and then there's unicorn mane and I got six yards of this in one inch so um I'm doing my local pride event in a couple weeks and I was like gotta make more Tuesday totes so yay I'm really excited about that thread this is so pretty it looks so good on black uh, okay. I got a package from Sandra, um, from the Gardner Sewing Room. Hang on. Okay. 
Uh, so Sandra sent me uh, some samples of fabric to sublimate on. And this one says cotton light. So, oh. So you had to sublimate on polyester. Okay, wait, this is something else. Okay. It almost feels like a cotton canvas. And then this, okay, so this one says cotton light. And then this one says canvas. Can you hear that? Uh, yeah, I'm interested to try these. I've got, uh, Hex Reject has a drop coming up on the, she's going back and forth from the second and the ninth. I'm hoping it's on the ninth, because then I'll have more time, uh, but, yeah, uh, I could try it for them. Okay, and then I got strikes from So Dulce for the next two rounds and retail. <laughs> okay, so... Summer retail that's coming up. Look what I got. It's the Aristocats as ice cream cones. They're cute. <laughs> okay. And then there's a Halloween in July round coming. So I got Mewtwo? Mew. This is Mew. And with like little witch hats and cauldrons. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. So can you see it's a Pokeball and then the moons? That's cute. And then for the next round, I got Spyro. Look at him wearing a little, like, it's like cottage core Spyro. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm making yet. Uh, I think. That I have to do the Halloween one first. And then I think the other two are due a couple weeks later. So, I don't know. Something cool. I like it a lot. It's really cute. So, okay. Today is the 28th. So, I got a week left. What can I do? Alright, let's see here. So, I know that... The Callisto from Sonar is coming out on the 1st, so I'm going to try to make another one and have a video. I asked Nicole if I could do a video. And then on the 2nd, I will be doing the Beachcomber pouch from Needle and Anchor. We're doing a YouTube marathon, so that'll air before this. And then I'm heading to Chicago on the 3rd, so... I'll have to fin wrap this all up on the second, which is what I normally try to do anyways. Um, and I'm going to try to squeeze in a live. The kids are off school this week. So, well, because school's out. <laughs> school's out. But they're off this week, and then um, then they'll go to some summer thing, like summer school things for a couple weeks. Uh, Thea has three weeks, and Dom has two. So, it's going to be interesting. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, they'll just pop up in lives and I hope everyone can deal with it. Anyways, hello. It is me and George. Do you like vlogging, George? He's over my crap. Um, I got some over the door shoe organizers. I feel very cheap. Uh, it was the cheapest from Walmart. What do you expect? Um, so this curtain that's here, I'm gonna try hanging them right behind the curtain. Oh, for my zippers, because if you've watched me dig through my zipper bin. Um, and I know everyone says they use these. I've literally rooted through my friend Lauren's at her house. She has them on, like, a double set of doors on the front and back, which is probably what I need. But I lack wall space because I've already used it all up. Um... Sorry, you can't even see it. I'm petting George. 
Uh, oh, this is my shirt I got. It's so whatever weekend. Um, I finally washed it. Uh, okay, I got stripes from Fabric Therapy. This is my first set of stripes from them. I think I've already ordered like another set or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but how cute is this? It's like soot sprites with leopard print. I love it. I don't know what I'm making. <laughs> Nancy just, so Nancy's the owner of Fabric Therapy. She just post uh, <laughs> today in our strike group something and she's like, does anyone want to strike this? What would you make? And my friend Sarah tagged me and I was like, listen, <laughs> I would love to strike it, but I don't know what I want it to be. And Nancy was like, does it need to speak to you? And I was like, yes, I need to pet it and ask it what it wants to be. <laughs> that and I need to check my hardware every time. Because I always think I have hardware to make a bag that I don't. Um, okay, so I got that. And also, while I was gone at So Whatever Weekend, I got uh, a big old box of... I should probably be careful I don't cut my finger. I got a big box of waterproof canvas. Which everyone knows probably at this point what that is. However, show you what colors I got real quick, I guess. Um, if you heard loud bangs, my kids jumping around upstairs because remember they're off school. Oh, all right. So, got more silver. Um, and these are the backs, so the colors aren't like completely accurate. Um, but I got more silver. I had started a gray cat purse. And I didn't have enough lining, but I just needed to make the flap. So I cannot remember what this color is called, but it's a pretty light blue. This is gold. Did I need this? I feel like it's sitting right there. Whatever. Black. Got the most of it. I use it the most. Watch out, George. Light pink been saying I was going to order it for months. My friend Tiff gave me some. I've literally used Lauren's twice <laughs> in St. Louis. I should probably order them some. This is my favorite light blue. It is different from the other one. This is more bright. George, watch out, bud. I got, I think they call this one lilac. Um, I'm, I don't like purple, but this is a pretty purple. And this blue I use a lot too. Never know I use a lot of blue until now. Let's see. Aqua, periwinkle, and turquoise. So this is turquoise. This is aqua. And this is periwinkle. Yes. And it was black and gold and lilac. Why does it feel... I thought I ordered more. It was expensive. Um, waterproof canvas is not as cheap as it used to be. And they used to offer price breaks, price breaks at like a lower amount, I feel like. Um, but if you can catch it on sale, it's great. Um, I hadn't ordered in like a year. But I looked at my order history... And that was because I placed a $400 order last year while it was on sale and I had gotten a lot. Um, I didn't think I needed more orange. And then as soon as I ordered, I made that apothecary and I used orange and now I almost have no orange. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm placing another order real soon, but it's Fabric Wholesale Direct. That's where I get it. That's where most people get it. I think it's probably the cheapest place. And if you order enough... You get free shipping and you get points. So I actually redeemed $25 off of points and I almost have enough to do that again. So yeah, um, two days left of this vlog. I think I'm going to go live with my kids. I don't know. I have a, I think I already talked about it, but I got to do a video for the Callisto crossbody from Sonar, the Beachcomber from Needle and Anchor. I need to finish the net. 
It would be so nice if that video was up soon. But I think I have videos planned for like the next three days. So then it's probably going to go up after them. My goal is by Tuesday the 6th. We'll say that. So pester me if it's not. Because that's like two weeks between when I did the cut. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I got to make samples for my fabric selections for my classes in Nashville. Because that is coming up in a month. I gotta ask people what prints they would like and I want to have like the finished items for them to choose from because I got that fabric in with the donut cats. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. Bye. All right. Last clip of vlog number 11. It is 11, right? I think it's 11. Pretty sure. Um, okay. First off. There was a more me no release. Oh, so now oh whoops. Sorry. Together I'm gonna the, there's I'm watching a video but I've muted it and my bag unmuted it. Anyways, okay, so there was the June first more me no release. That was yesterday. Whew, feels like it was a while ago. Um I did a live the other night and I cut out some stuff that I was gonna be sewing. Um so this pretty vinyl pretty I don't know if it's still up um, but I made a moon dance notepad cover by sincerely done patterns I need to edge coat it still I think it's okay not edge coated but it is prettier that way um, and then I used the teal lux from where we know also this is cute like it's a it's big enough for like business cards or whatever I love this size. This is a junior legal size. It's the same size I made that other strike with that is in the same video. Um, I'm planning on making a bunch of this size for shows. Uh, there was also a super pretty clear TPU vinyl and it has a holographic glitter. So good. So I made a peekaboo. So more me know print and pattern and this is my lavender jelly vinyl oh hey the jelly vinyl pre-order uh it hopped a boat last week uh i hadn't gotten tracking information yet and i was like hey when is this shipping because i thought it was supposed to ship last week um so i don't know what day exactly it got on the boat but i think we're about two weeks into the four weeks for shipping so soon uh i made a midnight kiss pouch um, I did jelly on the back and clear on the front, and I really like this combo because um, you don't get like the double uh, print showing, so I think it highlights the clear print better. Um, this cute little zipper pull that's on both of them. Also a Mormino zipper pull. Then we've got a little donut cat one with... Uh, I think this is Imperium Pink, or maybe it's Perfect Pink. I gotta learn my own color names. Uh, when I had ordered before, I only ordered like four colors, and I called it like Light Pink. So, okay. Uh, one of my So Dulce strikes, so uh, Halloween in June. I said July in another video, it's Halloween in June. Um, but like how cute it is and then this is uh, the deep space holographic vinyl from where we know um, anyway so this is the beachcomber pouch it's by needle and anchor um, we had a whole YouTube marathon of this pattern today today right now is June 2nd um, which is Leslie's video is playing right now, so that's what I have muted so I could record this real quick. Uh, and then I made another Callisto crossbody. So cute! Um, so I recorded a tutorial video for this pattern, and this is the one from the video. I used this rainbow cork from Fabric Funhouse. All of my hardware is from More Me No. I did another three-fourth inch strap. And then this print 
is from Fabric Therapy. I just got it literally this week and I love it so much. Um, I'm going to keep... I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Uh, TJ, I see you need to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> um... I'm going to keep this because when I was interfacing it, some of the like, glue dots got on it. Uh, I got them mostly off, but I really like it. I used silver glitter. Um, it, I think it's the Disco Ball Ace glitter from Mormino, but And then this cute little zipper pull is from So Dulce. The bag making challenge for this uh, period was to sew a zipper pocket with an overlay. I did it. Um, so yeah, there's this. I'm going to Chicago tomorrow. I think I'm gonna take this with me. Why not? And then I finished um, car trash cans. So I can email the people that are taking my car trash can class in Nashville at Sew Magical Expo with their options. So the picture for the class is this print, but it's a different colorway. So I wanted to accurately show the colorway we're gonna have for class. So this is the only option. Donut cats. I'm so excited. I'm putting this one in my car. And then I think I'm gonna offer this on my website, like made to order. You get like a light pink lining or a blue lining because of the sprinkles. Yeah, so, all right. Next video, next uh, vlog. My hair looks so bad. My mom has a pool and we've been in it a bunch. And... Anyways, okay. <laughs> uh, next vlog is going to have my local pride. So I live in Stark County, Ohio. So Stark Pride is the seventh, or I'm looking ahead, is the 10th. I'm really excited. Um, and then on the 11th, I have another one of my Odd Mall events. Um, oh yeah, I'm getting my hair cut on the 9th. So fingers crossed it doesn't get all chopped off. What else? What else? My kiddo's birthday is the 15th, Dom turns 11, and then we're having his party on the 17th, so say a prayer for me. Um, yeah, I guess this next vlog will go up on the 17th, so you'll be watching my vlog and I'll be suffering a party with a bunch of 10 and 11 year olds. It's fine. Just... Okay. Anyways, I'm really tired. I gotta finish this video so I can leave bright and early to go to Chicago for the So Whatever Chicago Sewing Soiree. Uh, it's just like low-key, we're just gonna hang out and sew. I'm taking my domestic with me and that machine all the way there on my prepped a bunch of cat collars because I really need to work on my cat collar inventory. Um, I think as far as videos go, between now and my next vlog, um, I'm gonna finish that in that. I promise. Uh, I wanna do a tutorial for the moon, moon dance, that notebook cover. Uh, I also want to try to do a fabric hack for it. I really need to do the video for the Dina handbag, the cat purse. Um, I'm probably being way too like, this is what I want to do. Um, probably be a couple of lives, uh, probably batch sewing to get ready for shows. So anyways, enjoy. Have a good weekend. Bye.